we're reading them and uh, may not get to all of them, but we'll get to a lot of them. All right. If PAC really had any balls on competitiveness for all 12 teams and goes to a two-tier model, it might work. No one knows what they got cooking. True. I mean, Klyopkov is a, is a departure from mm -hmm. Larry Scott. That is for sure. And I think he's a very smart man. So I, I don't think by any means when I'm talking about the Pac-12 and, you know, potentially what's out there in the future, I have no doubt whatsoever that they, they have some plan, you know, and, and something to uh, to soothe any tensions if there are any moving forward. And, and yeah, he's, he's a unique guy and a unique mind in college football and, and will definitely be one to, to keep – track of for from sure. jay bird in fact kliakoff is uh is from the mgm las vegas world fair went out the window <laughs> with larry scott um, lewis uh let's see here the wine and cheese pac-12 schools look down on arizona state wazoo oregon state and arizona which is strong academically but gets lumped with party schools like arizona state Hey, every conference has somebody that looks down on somebody else in the conference. The difference that separates the SEC is they still love the weakest link and take care of them and will not attack them. And that's the difference I've seen since conference really kind of went to expansion and realignment back even when Arkansas and others left the Southwest Conference. I could see where that would be a turnoff for those programs, though. Now, you know, does the money talk enough to where it doesn't matter and it's just like a thing you put up with because – you know, not everything's perfect, but I could see, you know, and that's kind of what I, I, I'm getting at with how happy are they? I mean, are they happy enough to where Klyovkov's the answer and the Pac-12 is going to be great for forever and there's there's no reason to ever leave? Or are, is there enough of a divide on you know the, the direction of college football moving forward, college athletics moving forward, politics, et cetera? that, you know, maybe there is that discrepancy between the, the power brokers and, and the, you know, more politically leaning universities as opposed to some of those that are, are looked down upon, so to speak. I could see that being enough of a reason to at least look around and say, you know, maybe we fit better somewhere else in a few years from now. Uh, from Jeff, we know he's a big Alabama fan. Trust me, USC ain't going to sign a deal to make half as much as SEC and Big Ten uh, from Steven, if the Blue Bloods leave the Pac-12, they will be adding San Diego State, Rice, and Tulane if academics are the most important thing, and we know that that's in tongue-in-cheek. Um, that's true, yeah. It wouldn't be the most impressive conference if you uh, went just strictly on that route. It's a card yeah. you pull out when convenient, I think. If in but fact, it's something yeah. they, they hold to for the most part. If, yeah. in fact, there is no football, and there are exceptions, like for, someone even brought up Gonzaga on the chat room, if there's no football that doesn't generate money, it's a black hole. It's RIP. Uh, rest in peace for everybody else. We, we absolutely. I personally think you're going to see some teams disappear like UAB did for a while. And, of course, they've come back and started playing football again. Yeah, I mean, that was the fear when name, image, lightness hit the scene, right? And there was actually an article. I think it might have been Ross Dellinger. I don't know uh, off the top of my head. So apologies if it was somebody else. But they were talking about how NIL hasn't been the big boogeyman that a lot of people thought it would be. Because what do we do? We hear a new idea that's something outside of the box and completely different to what we're used to. We get scared of it. And we think of the most extreme negative impact that it could have and so oh my god nil is going to ruin college sports and this and that i do think it's had an impact but i think what we've seen is that football is really all that matters for the most part and there are unique athletes at other institutions that some brands have an interest in but in terms of the, the has and the have nots i think it's pretty much the same thing that it's been i think everybody's pretty much in the same spot that they were if you're at alabama you probably have more opportunities if you're baylor you have some but not as many and you go down lower and you have little to none and and that's just kind of the way that it is so it really just is is indicative of the way college football is yeah. already uh it's has and have nots but it certainly hasn't ruined the sport to the extent that some people feared that it would um, but i do wonder the more we move forward and the more we see sort of the directions that conferences start to, to take, you know, especially the SEC, there, you know, that talk that was there early on about the mini NFL, that's not going to fit everybody's mentality. And that's not going to fit everybody's desire as an institution. And so if there is that direction that's taken by some, then, yeah, there are going to be some that are left out. And there's some that might decide, you know what, this party just ain't worth it anymore or, or we can't sustain this. And, and that would be very unfortunate. Kuz's quarter. I like the new teams coming into the Big 12 would be content playing in the conference. However, the ACC fits much better geographically, and it will get and renew old rivalries. Uh, talking about, uh, well, I think it's sadly geographics yeah. is not even a, it's that's not, not even a factor not. anymore. Yeah. 
Uh, from Jeff, having six teams competitive is better than having Clemson and no one else. Sam Kim, for two years, I have zero worry as a Pac-12 fan. Now, if Kliakoff face plants, then all bets are off. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I think you definitely feel a lot better about the Pac-12. But I, I think, you know, Oklahoma and Texas just showed us, though, that anything is possible at any moment. And it's not necessarily a, in the middle of the night you – grab your belongings and you head out of town and, you know, like the, the Irish goodbye, you know, <laughs> you just don't say anything. But, um, you know, there, there's it's it's a shifting landscape. Nobody knows what the future looks like. Nobody knows what these future TV contracts are going to look like, too. That obviously a, a play a, a huge role. But I do think the pack is at least stable for the, the time being. From Jay Bird, the Big 12 is 